Good morning, you guys. It is Monday, April 25th, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you are new here, my name is Danielle, and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, whatever. If you're new here and you uh, have not watched any videos before, I make weekly vlogs where I go through my entire week, work-wise, personal-wise, just everything I do in life, and I kind of go through it with you. Um, This past week, I actually moved, so it's a little hectic. I also get married on Saturday, so... It's just a lot. By the time you guys watch this video, I will already be married and we will actually be on our honeymoon. Um, I'm probably going to try to get this video uploaded or at least ready on Friday or Sunday so I can upload it before we go because um, I will not be uploading um, on the honeymoon. Maybe on the way I might. I don't know. I haven't really figured that out yet. But I just made it to my parents' house where my office is, and I am ready to take on the day, really. Um, I'm going to turn on something for me to watch. I'm checking on my um, my Posture VA, and it's running right now, so that's good. Um, if you guys don't know what Posture VA is, that is a, um, it's like a Google Chrome extension. It's kind of like a bot that shares your closet, can send offers, it can raise and decrease your prices, it can also relist and delist your items it's kind of crazy um i do have a link down below if you guys want to sign up and save it's easily one of the best things i've implemented into my business it's made everything very automated and honestly saved me a ton of time so i would highly recommend that you go try it out the link down below will actually get you like a week or two for free and then a percentage off so there's really no question why you shouldn't at least try it so i would go do that i have a lot to do today i need to actually like for once get in my planner and do something I haven't been writing in my planner for the longest because I've just been so busy. So I need to get um, planning done today. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a weird week just because the wedding is on Saturday. So I'm going to try to get as much work as I can done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because Thursday, Friday will be like last minute wedding stuff. Um, getting stuff ready, going to get my nails done, like just doing a bunch of like random stuff. But that's what I'm going to try to do is get most of my work done these first three days and then really have no expectations for the end of the week and the beginning of next week just because we will be on our honeymoon and like I will not be worrying about reselling at all. Um, but yeah, welcome to the vlog. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on some work. I will uh, probably talk to you guys later, maybe film some stuff. I don't know. But I wanted to open it up real quick on Monday. I don't know if I said it's like almost 1130 right now. So the day is pretty early. I don't know what time I plan on like getting here and leaving every day yet. I haven't really determined that. I'll probably get into a better schedule. Um, like not next week when we're on our honeymoon, but the next week I'll probably try to get into like a really good schedule. I'm thinking I'm going to like leave the apartment when my fiance leaves and then probably go home around like four ish, uh, maybe earlier just to like start dinner and do all that stuff. But yeah, that's kind of my plan so far, but welcome to the vlog. Uh, I'm glad you're here, and let's get started on our week. <laughs> you do not belong up there! <laughs> Balto, get back here now! Get back here now! Get back here now! Get back here! <laughs> oh my god! Balto, get back here! Back here now! Not in the front! Sit on your butt! You don't belong in the front! Don't go in the front seat. He really tried to hop in the front seat like that was his seat. Mister, I was trying not to get hair in the front seat and look what you did. Anyways, I'm leaving uh, my parents' house right now. Taking Balto back to the apartment. He's gonna spend the weekends at my parents and then uh, the weekdays with us. Um, and then obviously like when I come over here, he will um, spend time with me. Um, but I got this handy dandy like back seat cover thing. Hi. Uh, so I'm hoping it does something. I don't know, his hair will still literally be everywhere regardless of what seat cover i have but i'm trying to protect my seats because i have leather seats um but i don't know like there's hair flying everywhere you can probably see it but i am headed uh back to the apartment now buddy you need some air let me get you air um so i will probably talk to you guys tomorrow i got a ton done i got um so a shoe batch photographed i got a ton of paperwork done i got um stuff processed so, ton was happening. It definitely wasn't as productive as I'd like to be, um, but I wasn't really over here too long. It is like, 
I think almost four o'clock right now. So I wasn't over here a super long time, um, but I did get a good chunk of stuff done. So I am ready to head back home. Are you ready, buddy, to go home? He's hanging out back there. Um, let me lock all these things. I'm gonna lock the windows because you are gonna probably try to roll it down. I don't fully trust him with the windows down, um, but we're headed home. Wanted to give you guys a quick update, and I will probably talk to you guys again tomorrow. But yeah, that's how my day has gone. Isn't that right, buddy? Isn't that right? Say bye. <laughs> Okay, you guys, um, it is Tuesday. I just, well, not, I didn't just get here, but I've been here for a little bit. Um, I'm at my parents' house. I'm about to knock out some work. But since the wedding will literally, sorry, I'm trying to set you guys up. Since the wedding will be like all the way past by the time this video comes out, I want to actually show you guys the rest of the stuff that I finished and bought and just the rest of the wedding stuff because a couple weeks ago I went through like everything I had to show you guys like my theme and just like everything um so I want to go through like everything else I made a couple more things that I want to show you guys um and then I have like my flower girl dress that I couldn't show you guys previously just because my fiance can't see it because it's very similar to my wedding dress um I thought about showing my wedding dress in this video but I'm not going to just because um I just like I don't know I don't want to show it because like in real life now he hasn't seen it and I just don't really want to like put it on a video just in case I'm like editing or something and it's okay if he sees that when I'm editing but my wedding dress is a little different so I'm not going to show you guys that at all until like the actual time of the wedding um but yeah let me turn you guys around I'll show you guys a few of the things I made um actually I can actually start with this so I decided to actually make I wanted to do a um like a remembrance thing for all of the people and both of our families that have passed away um obviously um his dad just recently passed away less than a month ago and it is going to be a really tough day and i wanted to do something specifically for his dad but he did not want to do that just because we don't want to like ruin the day with it but we do still want to have like a little memorial thing so we're going to take one of our chairs because we will have like a couple extra chairs so we're going to take one of our chairs and put it next to our table and i got this sign that actually says in a loving memory of those who cannot be here today uh but are forever present in our hearts so this will sit on the chair and i'm actually going to put um me, my flower girls bouquet sitting on the chair with a sign and then I made this little thing to go on just the top of the chair this does match my arch and all my florals really really well so this will just kind of hang on the top of the chair um I meant to put string on it before I did it I forgot so I gotta snake that in there somewhere but 
Um, that is one thing I've added since I talked to you guys last. I actually ordered this sign on Zazzle. And you guys know I made every single one of my signs except for these last three that I ordered. And they match all my other signs because I basically matched the font to this and literally copied this heart and put them on everything. Um, but they all pretty much look like I made them all even though I bought three and made the rest. But, you know, it's, it's good. Um, the other two signs that I did order from Zazzle are here. So first we have the let love glow sign. This just says grab some glow accessories and light up the dance floor. I have earrings, bracelets, necklaces, rings, something else. I don't know, but this is for the dance floor. And then with the send off, they will take everything outside and you know, it'll be fun. Uh, so that's the other sign that I ordered. This one's actually smaller. Um, and then the last sign that I actually bought was the bar sign. Um, the reason why I wanted to buy these is because they were bigger than the normal signs I was making. Um, and these just looked a little better and they also had a stand already so I don't have to buy something else. Uh, but this is the bar sign. It lists out the beer we have, the wine we have, the hard seltzer, and the non-alcoholic beverages that we have. Super cute. Matches everything. So those are the only three signs that I actually bought. I'm pretty sure I made everything else. Let me turn you guys around now and show you guys the flower girl dress. And then I also want to show you guys the welcome sign the donut wall that I did something to and then I also did something to the lottery ticket favor sign so let me show you guys that okay so this is the flower girl dress I did buy this dress on Poshmark this is originally over like a hundred dollars and I bought it for like 20 something dollars which was amazing um it has these little pearl details which will make sense once you guys see my wedding dress um and then it's just this plain and then it has this and then it does have a tie in the back um and then the back of this is actually the best part so I'm gonna have her have her hair up um so that you can see the back but this is what the back looks like it's like a v and of course it has more pearls a zipper and then the tie um does tie right back here this is so incredibly cute and i got it so cheap because it does have a small spot on the front but it's not super noticeable it is like right there so it's not like you can't really see it but i am so excited about that and then my nephew who is the ring bearer is wearing a suit to match my fiance's suit just black plain you know, and then I don't know what she's wearing for shoes yet. I need to get with my sister and figure out if she has shoes or whatever. Um, but yeah, this was one of the first things I bought and I am honestly still in love with it. I think it's so cute. And then this is the donut wall. Um, as you guys can see, there are pegs on this. I think I showed you guys this last time. There's a peg missing. We've had many peg casualties, but I added this vinyl with my Cricut that says, donut mind if I do. I just thought it was really cute. And initially I wasn't gonna put anything on this, but then I was like really into making these signs and they all looked so cute that I was like, okay, the donut wall has to have it. We removed some pegs. So hope the holes are not super noticeable, but I think it's so cute. And then obviously donuts will be all on the pegs. Uh, we don't have a ton of people, so we don't really need a ton of donuts, but I think that turned out so cute. It's one of my favorite things and just kind of adds something so it's not like super plain. And then this is the welcome sign. I'm actually covering up where our wedding is because I just where we live and I don't want to share it. Um, but I am contemplating taking off the welcome and making it bigger, but I don't really know. Um, everyone says it looks fine, but I don't know. I'll, I'll make up my mind, but definitely looks like I bought this somewhere and not, um, like made it but so i'm really trying to cover this up um but it's super cute that's all i'm gonna show because i don't want to show this but it's very cute and then i'm pretty sure this is the last sign i have to show you and then i'm actually going to show you a cake topper that i couldn't previously show you uh because my fiance hasn't seen it it's a surprise because it has my wedding dress on it maybe i won't show you i don't know maybe i will i'll i'll figure it out but this is one of our favors this is a lottery ticket in here i've showed you guys this before and i just added on the top lucky in love please take one this is so incredibly cute i think that it is everyone says like favors are a waste of time and blah 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 i think this is a favor that is just so fun because people can literally win money so if you don't want to grab one of these i'm gonna scratch them off later if you don't because there's money you could win on these. So they are actual lottery tickets. They are $1 lottery tickets, and then every single one of them does have a penny inside. Um, so they can scratch it while they're there, even if they want. Uh, but it's going to go on a easel, and then we will actually go ahead and tie it or tape it to the easel. I haven't decided yet, but this is super cute. As you can see, all the font and everything matches. Um, there's, like, that little heart that matches 
those signs down here. Um, that's pretty much on everything. I think it's so cute, and I think everything turned out super cute, and I'm so excited, and there's four days left, and I can't believe it. But that is everything. I'm not going to show you the cake topper just because um, it's, like, painted to look like us, and it's, it's very cute. You'll see once I actually, like, show you guys later on after the wedding but it's so cute and i don't really want to ruin what my dress looks like or anything so i'm not going to show you but that's everything i think that i have to show you obviously if i forgot something like you'll see it later on while we're either if i like record while we're setting up or if i put like our wedding video in um like if i post it on here at all i don't really know to be honest kind of just taking everything as it comes but, um, yeah, I think that's everything. I hope you guys enjoy all my little wedding stuff. We're almost coming to the end with all of this stuff and making everything. And I've been done for a while now, so I haven't really been doing anything. But it just feels so weird that it's four days away. But I'm so excited. I'm getting a little nervous. So is my fiancé. We're getting the nerves are starting to set in a little bit. But overall, it's excitement that we're feeling and we're just excited to really celebrate with everyone. My fiance is actually sick today. Um, so we're hoping that he makes it better by the end. We're pretty sure he has what I had a couple days ago. Um, cause it sounds the exact same. And we're hoping that he is better by like Friday, Thursday, hopefully. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're excited. I hope you guys like all my wedding stuff. Thanks for listening and seeing all my wedding stuff when I show you um but I'm gonna go get to work and I will probably talk to you guys later good morning you guys I know this angle is weird it's because I'm in the car headed to my mom's house or my parents house right now um it's like 9 30 I think um I am headed to my mom's house we are t-minus two days until the wedding and we have just some last minute stuff to do I'm getting my nails done today uh for my wedding nails I'm excited, but I'm also a little nervous because I'm doing something I've never done before. So I'm like, I should have been practicing, or not practicing, but I should have been getting nails that I wanted to do for the wedding, like, before the wedding. But here we are. So um, we'll see how those turn out. Um, and then we also have to go, I actually bought new glasses a little bit ago. I bought, like, a pair of blue light glasses. And then I also bought, um, like, uh, new frames or no, not new frames, new lenses for these frames because I love these glasses so much. I'm stopping, I don't want you guys to fall. I've been trying to set you up for 30 minutes. So I bought the new lenses, so I need to go pick up the new lenses and put them in these frames because these are all scratched and like old and whatever. Uh, and my blue light glasses, I actually really like those as well. Um, those are like hanging out at my parents' house um, and I do take them back and forth. I just use them when I'm on my computer because obviously I do so much work on my computer. Um, but other than that, we also have to go to Ulta. I have to grab a couple things for my wedding makeup. Um, I did it the other day and actually really, really loved how it turned out. So Oh man. Okay, sorry you guys fell. There's literally no good spot to record in this car, and so I'm like <laughs> trying to have y'all not fall. Uh, but what I was saying was, um, I took a oh! No! I literally took a detour through the neighborhood so I could get you guys set up, and clearly it's not working. Okay, I stopped and got the stupid tripod out which i should have just done before i even got in the car but whatever um i don't even know what i was talking about oh my wedding makeup so i practiced it uh for like the second time the other day and i first time i did it i hated what it looked like the second time i did it which was like two seconds not two seconds but it was like um a couple days ago i actually really really liked it um so i am pretty much set on that i think i'm gonna practice it maybe one more time maybe twice i don't know i'm limited to time these last two days um i used to do my makeup like all the time i used to be really good at it and like i'm not my capabilities are fine um i just like was a little nervous and skeptical of doing my own makeup just because like you're supposed to get pampered and like i don't know but um we have anyways i was just telling you we had to go to ulta that's literally the basis of what i was saying um because i need a new highlighter I need um, a eyelash curler. I don't have one. Uh, and a few other things. I have it all written down. We have to go to uh, a grocery store to find greenery for the cake because I want to get fresh greenery to go on the cake and we want to get it beforehand so we are not rushing day of to get it. Um, what else do we have to do? Um, I said nails. I don't even know. It's probably something else we have to do. We're also getting like, I put together a whole list 
of like an emergency kit that I want to put together and um I want to like put that together today and tomorrow and we're going to Walmart to get my glasses so um I want to make sure if there's anything I need to buy that we get it at Walmart um but I needed to come on the car. I took a detour to the neighborhood. That's why we're driving for so long. Um, I needed to come on this morning because I have, will have no other time to come and update you guys just because I'll be out doing stuff. I'll try to record here and there, but like life is hectic right now, clearly. And my wedding's in two days. Um, and even though like I have like everything done, I just have like little things that left to do that I just need to do. Um, so yeah, I wanted to come and open the vlog or not open the vlog oh my god i need to go because clearly i can't speak i don't know what i'm talking about i don't know what's happening but yeah i wanted to come kind of um update you guys for and what day is it thursday this week has gone by so fast and i literally can't believe my wedding's in two days i am literally shocked i am getting so nervous like last night i was so nervous this morning so nervous couldn't eat breakfast um so yeah, it's been a lot, but I wanted to come and just kind of uh, give you guys an update for Thursday because I don't think I filmed anything yesterday, which was Wednesday. Um, I did come to my parents and do quite a bit of work, which was good. I have a bunch of flip flops that I processed, I photographed, and like needed to list and everything. So it's gone really well going back and forth. Um, I did leave Balto at my parents' house yesterday just because he, one, was being bad the night before, um, and two, he... Um, is not gonna go back to our house until after we get back from our honeymoon now just because obviously our wedding and everything so that is what's happening um i have just arrived at my parents house my dad's at work my mom is here we are going you guys are covering my backup camera that's okay um but yeah that's a quick little um update for thursday morning and i will probably see you guys later today or tomorrow i'm so excited for my wedding i can't believe it and yeah I'm gonna go in. Hello guys. I feel better. As I'm you know, here. She's there. We are heading to Kohl's because we realized the my suit there? does not match correctly. What's the best way to get there? Um, to wear Kohl's? So that way? Yeah, that way. Let but anyways, let me no, let me explain it. Okay. So we realized that my pants and jacket, oh puppies, do not match. They're not the same color of or shade of black. Well, that so. doesn't even make sense. Okay, you explain it. No, I'm saying it doesn't make sense that they're two different shades of black. Uh, okay. That's what doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. So, we're going to Kohl's to... That's where we got it. That's where we we're got gonna it. We're going to try to return the suit coat, but I don't have the Let's receipt because it's at my uh, at my parents' house uh, in a file. So, and I didn't think of doing that until I was leaving. And so then it was too late to get the receipt. So hopefully we can return it still. I don't know if they'll let us, but uh, yeah. So that's what we're doing. It's like, what time is it? Like 5.30 pretty much? Yeah. 5.45. So like, oh, oh, it's so good. It might, even be, it might even be almost six at this point. Um, and I still have to do a whole entire uh, phase of makeup. Oh, wow. This I is got a bunch of video games to play. Awkward situation here. But anyways, that's that. We'll update you when we get to Kohl's. <laughs> Later. Good afternoon. It is Friday. Um, we forgot to come back yesterday. Uh, we did go to Kohl's and get the suit and everything. Uh, so that's done, which is great. But it is Friday now. It's 12 o'clock. I have quite a bit to do today, but I actually woke up not feeling the greatest. Um, I have a very sore throat and some congestion. I took a few snacks and it took my congestion almost to zero and then my throat doesn't hurt as bad I actually need to take more mucinex as soon as i'm done um doing this um but i am about to do my makeup for the last time before we do it officially for the wedding so i am excited um i've done it this is gonna be the third no fourth fourth time yes fourth time that i'm doing it and yesterday i actually got some new stuff from ulta um because i wanted to um like kind of upgrade a couple things because i was using kind of old makeup and not really good stuff i also needed like a lip color to use and a couple other things um so the first thing i got was just some makeup remover i have been using like a little baby sample of this for so long and I finally like ran out of it. So I got a bigger one. This is just the micellar cleansing water. Um, this is better um, for your face and everything than I think makeup wipes. I don't know. I'm not a makeup expert. I literally used to do makeup all the time and I haven't done my makeup in so long. Um, so 
you know what, just take what I have with a grain of salt. And yeah, cause I'm definitely not a makeup person by any means. Um, next, I just got an eyelash curler. I don't really need to curl my eyelashes, but I figured mine as well. It's like e.l.f. brand, so it was like $3, so nothing crazy. And then I got a little ColourPop highlighter, bronzer, and blush um, little uh, quad. Is that what that's called? A quad? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but this just has a highlighter, a bronzer, and two blushes. Um, this is like the lightest shade they had. Obviously, I have fair skin, so this is the one I needed. Um, I don't know how like, much I like the highlighter in here, so I may take another one with me just in case. But when I used it yesterday, I seemed to like it, but I'm going to see like how it lasts on my face today. Today, I'm doing my makeup um, to strictly see how long it's going to last. Um, I'm doing it now, and it is, what did I say, like 12 o'clock. Uh, so we're going to see how long it lasts. Uh, the next thing I got was a palette. Um, I have not bought a new like eyeshadow palette in a very long time. Um, this is from Morphe. Um, I know these are like a little bit cheaper brands, but they're still good quality. But I just got this one because it has like all the colors I'm using, plus actually some extra colors. And I used it for the first time yesterday, and I actually really liked it. Um, so here is the colors in this. Um, I'm just sticking it very neutral, and everything is kind of um, just very natural and because i don't i don't want to go too crazy on it um and then i got a lip color and a lip liner where is the lip liner that's a good question oh here it is so i got um this first of all i got a nyx lip pencil in the color nude pink uh this is just a like just normal lip pencil and I forgot to get a sharpener so my mom's gonna grab one for me um and then this is a what is this L'Oreal uh lipstick um 171 it's just like a nude pink which it's this is almost like the same exact color as my actual lips which is what I wanted um and it was very hard to pick a color I was literally looking for so long for the right color but this is actually a really good duo and I actually really like it they did not have lip liners to match these in this brand, so I had to go find one in another brand, and this one actually matches like literally perfectly. So love that. Um, and then the other day, I actually got these two things. I got the Milani Conceal and Perfect uh, Concealer. Um, I really like this brand. I think it um, performs well. I do like this concealer a lot. Uh, and then I use the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Foundation, uh, the Dewy and Smooth, because I have really dry skin, so this helps. Um, I've been I've used this for a long time. Um, I actually had a really old bottle of it, so I had to rebuy one. Um, but my color match is perfect, and honestly, really love it. But I thought that we could um, kind of do a little uh, chat while I uh, do some makeup. Um, obviously, the wedding is tomorrow, and we did go find him a new suit. Um, it was definitely, um, it was actually almost the same price, but we got an extra pair of pants because he had already taken the tags off the pants to wear them. So we ended up returning the old suit coat and then keeping the old pants and then getting new pants and a new suit coat. And I actually like that suit better than the old one. So it kind of worked out. Um, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Uh, it's like a little mini sample. I've had it for a really long time, probably expired, but that's okay. Um, I used this yesterday for the first time. I was using, I don't remember what it's called. Um, dang, I really don't remember what it's called. Uh, another primer that, it was fine, but I definitely like this one more. I think that it did a little better at, like my makeup kind of went on a little smoother with this one. Um, so this is the one I'm using. Um, obviously, I do not do makeup. This is not a makeup channel, but uh, I'm doing my best, okay? Okay, I think I'm supposed to like let that set or something. I don't really know. Um, but I feel like I had something else to talk about and I literally don't remember what it was. So I may um, do a little time lapse for you guys of me doing makeup. And then if I think of something that I wanted to talk about, I guess I'll come back. Um, I'm going to go in with my um, foundation next. And I am going to use a beauty blender that I forgot to wet. So I'm gonna go get it wet really quick. I also have this like stippling brush, which I liked, but I think I liked the Beauty Blender better. So I'm gonna use, oh, okay, bye. Oh, it's in my neck, okay. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna keep using this because I don't think I like it as much, but I am gonna bring this with me just in case I change my mind, but I think I like this better. Um, so let me go wet this and then I'll do that. Um, and yeah, I'll start a little time lapse for you guys to watch. Just got done 
done with foundation and concealer. I think it looks fine. I don't know. I, this lighting is really bad, so <laughs> I guess I'll find out when I get to some better lighting. But um, I'm going to use the, what is this called? Cody Airspun Face Powder. I don't know. I'm going to, I don't know. Does anyone do their, like, baking anymore or their under eyes? <laughs> I feel like I'm so out of the loop with makeup that I, like, literally don't know what's happening. But I'm going to bake under my eyeballs while I uh, do my eye makeup. Typically, I've been doing my bronzer and blush and everything before my eye makeup. But today, I think I'm going to do my eye makeup first and see if that changes anything. Like, maybe let's give the uh, face makeup some time to set first. I don't really know. Um, you know, I'm just kind of winging it to be honest and that's that's that like I didn't even want to wear makeup for my wedding so we're just gonna wing it and hope for the best and we'll see how it turns out okay I'm gonna have to get a little closer to the mirror for this um but I'm going to use this um Morphe palette um these shadows blended so well yesterday so I'm going to go ahead and use this again I'm going to use these lighter colors um, the browns and then maybe this color here um, to achieve the look if you guys care I don't really know do you guys care <music> they're good i'm gonna wipe this away and i'm gonna do bronzer and things now um i don't want like too heavy on the eyes so i think i'm just going to leave it at that and then we're gonna put this powder um all over my face <laughs> first which is like like something I'm really bad at so I guess we'll see how this turns out um I have the pop, the color pop thing but then I also have the butter bronzer I think I'm gonna do some of this and some of this um and then same with blush I have the um butter blush and then I have oh sorry and then I have these so I'm gonna do a little mix of them um and we'll see this is like literally the part I'm the worst at so we'll see how this goes <music> on camera it does not look like that in person i don't know why it looks like that on camera but uh now i'm gonna do highlight 
Um, I'm going to use this highlight in here. It's not my favorite, so I think I am going to take another one with me, but we'll see. Um, this is just a highlighter brush. It's like very, it's just very sparkly, and I don't really know, like, I like the, I like it to obviously be a highlighter and like sparkle and everything, but like this is just too much. Hold on, my mom's calling me. Okay, I got interrupted by a phone call from my mom, uh, but I basically finished everything. I just need to do with mascara. Oh, and we're joined by a guest now. He's going to watch TV. Um, I'm going to just do mascara and my lip, and I'll montage it, and that is it. Uh, I think it actually turned out probably the best. Obviously, like, the more I practice, the she best. Has a no, I fixed it. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> but this is what I got. I hope it looks okay. Does it look okay, Bubby? I'm like not amazing at makeup, so how does it look, buddy? Looks great. It looks beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do mascara and lippies, and I'll be done. Oh, the mascara I'm using <clears throat> is the Wet and Wild Mega Link. It's like four dollars. Best mascara ever. Ignore whatever he's watching in the background. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I am at my parents' house and I actually came here a little bit ago to do a, just some more last minute wedding stuff and package some orders before um, I can't package orders for like a long time. Um, but yesterday my mom actually told me that one of my shoe racks fell down. Yeah, again, one of them fell down again. And it's most likely because there's too many shoes on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently I need to anchor them to the wall so they won't fall down. I don't, I literally don't have time to fix it until after I get back from my honeymoon, obviously. So I'm about to show you guys the damage. And I guess we're just gonna have to leave it, honestly, because I have no idea what else I'm supposed to do. Um, I just like, I don't know, what am I supposed to do? So here is the situation. Uh, I even like started taking down the other one with it. So I'm like, what exactly am I supposed to do about that? I don't know. So yeah, I'm like, can't even worry about it right now because I'm literally sick. My wedding is tomorrow. I'm, I have too much to worry about and that is definitely not something I'm concerned with right now. But so I tell you guys, we had yet another shoe rack casualty, which is just grand. I just love that for me. Um, but anyways, I don't know how much more I'm going to film for this vlog um, just because we're about to go like check into the hotel room for tomorrow night um, and tomorrow during the day and then um, kind of like load the car with all the wedding stuff and um, go to the rehearsal and everything. So don't think I'm going to film anything else for you guys, um, but maybe I'll come back. I don't know. <laughs> but the makeup is holding up nicely so far. Um, I think it looks really good still and this will definitely be what I do tomorrow. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy, just my own makeup skills and this is it. I think it looks really cute actually. Um, but yeah, that's a quick update for Friday. Um, my, our rehearsal's at 5.30, so I think it's like three something right now. So my best friend's about to come pick me up uh, like right after four. So she's gonna be here in like no time and then um, we're gonna go check into the hotel, come back, load the car, and then it's rehearsal time. And then go to dinner, maybe. I don't really know if I'm up for dinner, honestly. I just like think I need to go rest. Um, as much as I want to go eat a steak, <laughs> um, I just feel like I need to go rest. And I may honestly say forget the dinner. Um, and I'm just really, really hoping I don't wake up in the morning and I feel even worse. Um, I'm gonna take medicine and everything, but like today, I don't really feel super bad. Like, I feel a little bad, obviously. Um, 
but I took Mucinex twice now and it seems to be working some wonders for my congestion. Um, and then my throat doesn't hurt as bad, but like I'm just tired and like want to rest, but obviously I can't, I have too much stuff to do. Um, so I'm just hoping I don't wake up in the morning and feel worse or like feel worse on our honeymoon or anything. It's just like, I don't know. I'm just really hoping I feel better in the morning because I really don't want to go through my whole day and be miserable. And I was literally just sick last Monday when we moved. So I'm like, why am I sick again? Did I just never get over it or like what's happening? And then of course my fiance was sick all week. So there's just like, out of all the things that could have gone wrong, this, these were the things that went wrong. Um, which there's so much worse stuff that could be happening. We do have, um, someone on our guest list had COVID, so they can't come. Um, I think someone else can't come either. So I'm hoping we don't have any more, like, last minute cancellations. Um, but honestly, I don't really know, to be honest. But yeah, so many worse things could be happening. So I'm glad nothing worse is happening, but I still am really disappointed that I am not going to feel great on my wedding day whatever though I will take medicine and do whatever and I'll make it through but yeah I don't know if I'll talk to you guys again but if I do I'll be back if not this is probably the end of the vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed watching I know it was short and boring and not much happening but you know I just had a week full of a bunch of stuff for the wedding and hopefully well next week we're probably gonna film our honeymoon maybe I haven't decided if we do there will be a vlog the following week if we don't there will not be a vlog the following week um well maybe i don't know if we're like planning on filming tomorrow or anything like i really don't know i think we're just gonna like play it all by ear and if we feel like pulling out our phones and recording we will and if not we won't um but i am leaving now i hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog if it's the end if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that bell notification to be notified every time i post a new video Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again next week.